The only number we're given here is 310 degrees. But what do we know about the sum of angles at a point? Well, we know that the missing angle, when we include it to the angle that we know, will give us a full turn. And we know that a full turn is 360 degrees. So to get the angle that is missing, we can simply do 360 degrees minus 310 degrees. And that gives us 50 degrees. But have a think. What other information do you know or can you see in the diagram that can help you get some other missing angles? Well, we can see these hatch marks that tells us that this is an isosceles triangle. And we know that for isosceles triangle, the base angles must be equal. So it means that angle should be 50 degrees as well. What other information do we have that we can use to find some other angles? Well, we know that the sum of angles in the triangle is 180 degrees. So if we subtract these two angles from 180 degrees, we would get this angle, which is 80 degrees. What do you know about lines that cross like this, straight lines? Well, I'm sure you remember that vertically opposite angles are equal. So this angle there should be 80 degrees as well. What other information do we know about the sum of angles in a triangle? Well, first, we know that this mark here, this notation represents 90 degrees. So it means we have two angles known in a triangle. So we can find the other angle by subtracting this angle and this angle from 180 degrees. And that will give us 180 degrees minus 90 at 80 degrees, which will be 10 degrees.